Well, hello guys and welcome to Mr. Web Reviews. And today we're going to look into a very powerful marketing tool that will allow you to generate large amount of repeat business on your WooCommerce website. So today we're going to have a look at the one-click checkout plugin for WooCommerce. So what this plugin does basically is to allow returning customers to go through the checkout process in just one click. So this plugin is based on the Amazon website experience, which also allows the customers to check out in just one click. So let's have a look at this amazing plugin. Okay guys, so today we're going to review the Yeast WooCommerce one-click checkout plugin. So what is the purpose of this plugin? Well, as the name indicates, it will enable an easy and one quick checkout option. So just like on the Amazon website, basically. Now bear in mind, this is for users already registered on your e-commerce. So this will drive basically repeat business and make it easy for your uh, existing customers to purchase again and, and generate repeat business. So let's see the benefits here. So you will make the purchasing process easier and quicker, reducing the percentage of abandoned carts and pending orders. And also you will improve the user experience during the checkout process. So as you can see our image here, let's say you have the add to cart and one click purchase. So if someone is interested in this item, uh, something on your website, all they have to do, again, if they are already registered, all they have to do is just one click purchase and just like that, it's done and dusted, you got the order. And the price of this plugin is $59.99 in euros for one license. So let's explore uh, the different features and see how it performs. So how does this work? So let me show you here. So we have our demo shop here. So let's say I'm going to uh, purchase this bag. So I'm a first time buyer. I've never bought anything on this website. It's my first time. So what I do, I'm gonna buy this. So I'll add to cart. I go to the cart and I have one bag here. Oops, sorry, let me update this one bag. And then I proceed to checkout. And then I go through the whole checkout process as, as normal, as usual. So I'm just gonna put my name here. So John and then Do, and then uh, yes, Ireland. I'm gonna put uh, by street name. And then town and city, I'm going to put Dublin. And then county, we're going to select Dublin here. And then a phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And as you can see, I have a fake email address here for the test, just for that. And we go ahead with this, and we select cash on delivery, why not? And then place order. So that's it. So we placed an order and we purchased something with uh, this uh, company or this website. So this is one thing done. So we, that's our first purchase done. So then maybe a week later or maybe a month later, we come back to this website and we back to the same place, same, same homepage. But this time we already purchase something and as you can see we can hit, we have the options now of one click purchase so what can we do uh, let's say i wanted to buy those hiking shoes here for instance or whatever you know instead of this bag so i'm going to buy these now i can click on the product itself go to the product page i could read everything about it see all the pictures i'm happy enough so i could add to cart as previously done or I could have a one click purchase so let's go ahead with this one click purchase and now all I have to do is simply select my payment method. So I'll select cash on delivery again, pay for the order. And that's it, done. So the order has been placed and ordered in just one simple click. So you're remo removing all the stumbling blocks and making it as easy as possible for your customers to uh, bring you repeat business. So this is absolutely amazing. So let's see now the settings in the back end from the WordPress dashboard. So welcome to our WordPress dashboard. And as you can see, we have a menu here. So we're going to uh, select ETH and then one click checkout. So this is where all our options are available. As you can see, these are all our settings, basically, you know, general options. So let's have a look at these. So activate after first order. Do you want to activate this immediately and automatically like it did here for us? 
uh, after checkout yes or no well you'd want to uh, enable it maybe uh, that's maybe the safest option and do you want to activate it with the link or not so activate one click checkout features after clicking on a link so here is done automatically or do you want it done with the link so give them the option basically so activate in shop page uh, do activate plugin features also in the shop page so basically just like this you know in the shop page yes or no so if we disable this let me show you and then save and then if i refresh so you won't see it here basically in the shop page you won't have the one click option right here only if we click on the product itself now we have one click purchase but not in our shop page or maybe you prefer to have it immediately there in which case you click yes save and let's refresh now and as you can see now it's available right here immediately so it's really a matter of preferences you know so activate it for guests or only registered users and here you can exclude categories as well so let's say you have different categories but you don't want to allow this for maybe some items on your website this is where you uh, add uh, your categories basically so if i remove this one here remove posters and i type in POS, you can see I can find the category posters and this this is how you add it. And then redir redirect after creating the order. So once the order has been created, where do you want to go? You want to go to the product page, the payment page, the thank you page or the custom page. So like we uh, showed it here, basically the way we did it, we were redirected, redirected straight to the payment page which is most likely to be the best option in this case and then we have choose the default shipping address so is it none the billing address or the shipping address usually it would be the shipping address but it's really up to you uh, depending who you're dealing with if it's b2b or b2c uh, it could be maybe a billing address if it's b2b so what do you want your text for the activation link to say so activate one click checkout so basically that's related to the link here activate with link so when your visitors see that link what do you want it to say so activate one click checkout is pretty straightforward you could leave it like that or change it to whatever you wish and then we have a button label one click purchase so we have one click purchase as you can see but we could have one click checkout for instance so if we were to change this now and then refresh our page, you can see now it says one click checkout instead of one click purchase. So again, you can customize this uh, based on your own preferences. And then we can change the look of our button. So we have the button background, the button background when we hover on top. So basically that's the color of our button here, you know, and then the, the text color and the text when we hover on top. And then we have this one here, show form divider, yes or no. So as you can see, we have the add to cart or you can see a small divider here. One click checkout and ship to this address. Or do you do prefer not to show this? So let's see what this looks like if I save this now. And if we refresh, as you can see, we don't have the or, we don't have the divider here. Straight this button here at the bottom. So let's open this on a product page maybe as you can see we don't have the divider and let's put it back now yes save and then refresh and then you can see we have the divider with the or so it's either that or that so again it's based on your own preferences and then we have product list here And basically here, that's where you put your product uh, exclusion list. So do you want to exclude some products from your uh, from having this feature? So let's add a product here. Oh, let me look for product. Uh, maybe what do we have as product name? Maybe handbag. If I type in hand, handbag, add product. Yes. So now this one is in our exclusion list. So if I refresh this page, normally we shouldn't have the one click checkout for this one. And as you can see, now we don't have it for the handbag. So this is how you can set up exclusions and basically have it on certain product page and not others. 
and then if you wanted to make it available for this uh, product again for the handbag all you do basically is to remove the exclusion rule and then if we refresh now just like that we're back with the one click button uh, one check one click checkout uh, button so this is it uh, guys this is how easy it is to configure and then finally the last uh, related to this uh, plugin is the license activation as always with the wire theme uh, they require an activation key so once you've gone through the checkout process here at to card and purchase they'll you'll be provided with the license key so all you do is put your email address enter your license key and then you can activate this plugin and from then on you'll be able to use all the different features from this plugin so there you go guys as you can see this plugin is a very powerful marketing tool that will allow you to generate large amount of repeat business for just a small one of fee of just 59.99 so is it worth it i'll let you decide as always i'll leave a link in the description below so that's all for today guys i hope you found this helpful if so please consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss a single update thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video